My aim has always been to create scalable extension solutions that can work virtually, that can spread by word of mouth and that add value to farmers. So we're launching Africa's first smallholder microbiology service and it will be headed by these individuals who will be going back to the field with their instruments. So we're now plugging the technology side of it that Team ICAO have been building into the front end, which is microscopy side. Farmers will send in a sample of cells from their farm, which the lab technicians will do tests on them. And then what, what, whatever data they get, um, they'll put it into their system. The results of the two coming together will be that the analysis and reports will be pinged out in SMSs into the farmer's phones. What we're trying to achieve with ICAO and ICAO, the ICAO Soil Lab is a system that educates on the soil life, the importance of soil life, and shows farmers how to revitalize their soil by creating the environment that soil life need to prosper in. The major goal for ICAO is to support smallholder farmers, also to improve their farming practices and also their systems. And we actually do this through partners and also creating an ecosystem of people actually will help us achieve this. The reason why we do this is the realization that the mission of actually supports smallholder farmers is not something that can only achieve on our own. During the COVID period, I developed a program called the Bodo Bodo Soil Advocacy Program. My team went remote, many people were under lockdown and I thought, well, we can continue to teach people about soils and do it virtually. We can then extend our teachings remotely. If we can communicate with the ICAO farming community, they have motorbike Bodo Bodo riders with them. Would they like like to extend a program through us to them on learning about soil biology and compost making, take that into their families and communities. So that's really where it all started two years ago. That's what differentiates ICAO from other platforms. It's that everything that we do, even in how we develop our platforms, even in how we, we embark on our research, the farmer comes first. Nine months ago, we also started a training in an institution called Her Lab, which is in West Pocot. Just a trial program to do regenerative agriculture. So through Green Dreams, offered to take them through an extensive training in microscopy so that they can go practice that and make a living in their homes in Pocot. And they will be going back home in West Pocot to practice whatever skills they have learned here and also train 99 other young women that are in her lab. I'm very excited at what I see, first of all, and the way that, that she's reaching into communities, not simply helping to develop the agricultural infrastructure or, or output of where they are, but also helping to revolutionize the thinking around, and particularly as we saw this morning, people who've come, who've come in from East Pocot, from that area, and, and to break the cycle of discrimination against women or, or uh, the freedom of their will to do what they can do because you, you can already see from the outputs and from the people that we've met today that they are just as important if not more so in, in transforming and changing women's lives all over Kenya which I think is a very very important thing. What I did want to do and thought that I could do was get these girls to work with the ladies in their community and with the families in the community and again looking at helping from the aspects of soil turn them into soil advocates on the ground. What we have done is ensured that all the students coming into the ICAO soil advocacy classes and doing a three to six month course on soil advocacy and soil microbiology. We encourage students to apply for certificates to an international organization. This is the famous Dr. Eleningham Soil Food Web School. But I believe that our course puts students onto the first rung of the ladder to be able to enter those classes with rounded knowledge already there so that classes become easier. A student entry point is our six months classes. If they're lucky and they get a scholarship, they can move on to the Soil Food Web courses. If they pass with distinction, they come into our immersion classes where now they get to move behind microscopes and may even get microscopes. After that, they have then got to take the certified lab tech course provided by the Soil Food Web School as well. And those courses give the students a whole new outlook and a whole new career, but also global recognition 
and the ability to work anywhere across the world. Right now, the Soil Food Web Lab Techs on the African continent, there are only 13. We're a continent of a billion people and there are only 13 certified lab techs here. I want to create 50 lab techs every year for the next five years. I want to create about 250 lab techs on our continent. It means that our virtual system combined with the Soil Food Web system will be able to do that, a standard that is recognized at a global level, but that also really helps to ensure that the messages that land in the farmer's hands make sense. When we decided to do this immersion week, the microscopy immersion week, we brought in five from her lab, two Bora Bora soil advocates, and then three independent individuals. Two of them are farmers who joined the program. One has actually even started a business now, the Soil Revolution. It's, it's, it's amazing. When a farmer is able to get uh, reports in very fast turnaround times, it will make all this work all that much easier. Remember, we are going with the microscopes back to our communities. Three. vision, a country that treats soil management with the respect and wisdom that it needs to be treated with. I see labs across different counties where there is knowledge about the management of the organisms that give soil life. I see us using the health of the soil to help us predict what to grow, when to grow it, so that eventually we're not reliant on imports for some of our regular common commodities. I would like to see a time when first we feed ourselves, we feed Africa, and then we can feed the world. The journey of ICAO is one that is very dear to me. I have known the founder of ICAO, Suka Humbu, for more than 10 years. Today's an exciting day to be here at the ICAO, Smallholder Soil Microbiology Service. I've just witnessed an amazing class that has graduated. The culmination of two years of hard work, of training, of inspiring young people, and equipping these very young people with the skills they need and the tools to go and serve their communities. Setting up their own businesses, dealing with local farmers on the ground, and that way you can see the whole nation of Kenya prospering, I think, in the long run, if this can really be scaled up where we, have, we understand what's in our soil, what is needed to, to improve it, and produce, as I say, quality food for the future. We have seen a representation of a number of counties which are well represented, and it would be my concern and interest to increase the number such that every county is represented, and we have this expert at county level, and this one will be able to support the farmers at that level. My next plan is to find ways of getting funding to get the students through the system as fast as possible. The model is in place, the system is in place, the system works end to end, and just get the money to push. We've got the funnel, get as many students in and help them climb the ladder. Congratulations to all the participants, the young women that have graduated. We celebrate you and all I can say is congratulations and I hope that what you learn will make a big difference in the communities in which you live. I'd like to congratulate those who have been with us through this journey together. Uh, actually, I also uh, give thanks to Tim McQueen. We are not just us two. There are others whom we have trained us as McQueen's soil advocate, and uh, we work together. Even the exposure to a larger community of people who are practicing the same world, basically people who have the same vision. We are able to share our experiences. We are able to give advices to each other. That also plays a huge role in motivating us and keeping us going. I'd like to congratulate all the students that we have been here with them, and I'm wishing all the best for each and every one of them. You can see the passion, you can see the determination to, to learn science. To go from here back, as I say, to their counties, establish businesses, and help their fellow Kenyans, particularly the farmers. Well done to them.